Welcome to your Tesla. This video will provide a high-level overview of the essentials you need to know to take your first drive. Be sure to watch the rest of the videos to learn everything you need for ownership. If the door handle is retracted, press it and it will present so you can get inside. When you want to get out, press this button with your thumb. Your Tesla is compatible with three different kinds of keys. Phone key, which turns your phone into your Tesla's key, key fobs, and backup key cards, which you should keep with you whenever using phone key. We'll focus on phone key here and cover key fob and key cards in more detail in the keys video. Use one of your backup key cards to set up phone key. Make sure that your phone's Bluetooth is on, open the Tesla app, and then follow the prompts. Once set up, as long as your phone is with you, your car will automatically unlock as you approach it. Power on for driving when you press the brake pedal and lock as you walk away. Tap here or swipe here to reveal your controls menu, which gives you quick access to functions you'll use most. Tap to create your driver profile so you can get comfortable and save your settings. Reach down to the side of your seat to adjust its position and lumbar support. To adjust the steering yoke, select it on the touchscreen and then use the left scroll wheel. Tap Mirrors and use the same left scroll wheel to adjust each side view mirror. Finally, tap to save these settings to your profile. Many other settings also save to your driver profile, so your Tesla will be just how you like it, even if you're not the only driver. You can link your profile to your phone key or key fob, and your car will automatically adjust to you as you approach it. To drive, simply buckle up with your phone key in the car, press the brake pedal, and then go to the touchscreen. Swipe down here for reverse and up for drive. Tap here to put it in park yourself. Otherwise, your Tesla will automatically put itself in park once you come to a complete stop and unbuckle. Once your car is in park, you can get out. Your Tesla powers off once you get out and close the doors. If you'd like your Tesla to automatically shift itself out of park, go to Controls, Pedals and Steering, and then enable Auto Shift Out of Park. With this setting on, when you press the brake pedal while in park, your Tesla will automatically decide between drive and reverse according to your surroundings. The intended direction shows on the instrument cluster. Confirm that this is the direction you want and just press the accelerator to go. Swipe on the touchscreen to select a different direction. Your cabin has a stockless steering column. Activate your turn signals by using these controls on the left side of the yoke. Press firmly to turn on your signal. It will turn off automatically once your Tesla detects that you've completed a maneuver like a turn, lane change, or taking an exit. You can also disengage the signal by touching either turn signal control lightly. Touch here to flash your high beam headlights and reveal light settings on the touchscreen. Press firmer to fully engage or disengage your automatic high beams. If you prefer to dim your high beams manually, tap here to disable auto high beam. Honk your horn by pressing firmly here on the right side of the yoke. Touch lightly here to wipe the windshield once and bring up the wiper controls on your instrument cluster. Use the left scroll wheel to select between wiper speeds or set them to auto. A firmer press on the wiper control will spray the windshield. Your Tesla has regenerative braking. As you lift off the accelerator pedal, your car will slow down while recapturing and returning energy to the battery pack. It can take a few miles to get used to it, but it maximizes efficiency and control, ultimately making it easier to drive. As you ease off the accelerator at low speeds, your Tesla will also apply the friction brakes to bring you to a gentle stop and hold you there. This makes stop and go driving possible using the accelerator pedal only. Of course, as with any other car, press the brake pedal when you need to decelerate rapidly. To charge, point the connector at your charge port and press here to open it, or press on the charge port door itself. The port glows white, indicating that your car is ready to charge. 
Firmly plug in the connector and the port will pulse green once charging begins. To unplug, press and hold the connector button and remove the connector once the port turns white. Your charge port door will close automatically. To get the most out of your Tesla, be sure to watch the remaining videos in the series. We'll cover important features like autopilot and software updates, and you'll learn more about topics like charging and displays. Even more information is available in your on-screen owner's manual. Open your controls menu and tap service, owner's manual, and then search for any topic. Your Tesla has three displays, the instrument cluster behind your steering yoke, the cinematic front row touchscreen, and the touchscreen for passengers in the second row. Your instrument cluster presents the most important information while driving. State of charge and drive mode show at the bottom. Current speed displays on the right. Your driving visualization is in the center. This animates your Tesla's perception of its surroundings and gives readouts for active safety features like blind spot monitoring. Driver assistance features like auto steer are also indicated here. Navigation displays on the left when a route is active. The front touchscreen works much like a smartphone. It's your primary interface for controls, productivity, and entertainment. Your map is the backdrop of the screen and your media player displays to one side. Tap here to switch the media player to the other side or drag to minimize it. Your passenger can control volume here. As a reminder, just spin the left scroll wheel to adjust volume from the driver's seat. These are your recent apps. Tap one to open it and swipe to close. These are your favorites. Tap here to access the rest of your apps. Customize favorites by touching, holding, and dragging. Tap or slide to adjust temperature and reveal quick controls for rear and front defrosters and heated and ventilated seats. Tap split if your front passenger would like to control their temperature independently. Tap here to reveal your complete climate menu, which gives you controls from manual fan speed adjustments to heating your yoke or enabling dog mode. This is also where you position the airflow. Drag to move air up, down, in and out. Your preferred airflow position saves to your driver profile, so even it's set exactly how you like every time you're the driver. The easiest way to adjust climate is with a voice command. Set the temperature to 70. Explore features and settings within the tabs of your controls menu. You even open your glove box from here. This status bar has interactive icons for functions like driver profiles and connectivity. Open controls to reveal your status bar. Tap the Bluetooth icon to connect your phone for calls and media. Bring up the Bluetooth menu on your phone and then, on the car screen, select Start Search. Once your phone's name appears, Select it and wait for a prompt on your phone. Select pair within the prompt and you're connected. Explore the map by dragging, pinching, and rotating just as you would on a smartphone. Tap to select a point of interest or press and hold to drop a pin. Tap anywhere on the map to reveal controls for toggling satellite view, live traffic, and points of interest, including charging locations. For a detailed list of chargers, tap Navigate and then Chargers. Enter a destination here or use voice commands. Navigate to Giga, Texas. If you need to charge to reach your destination, Trip Planner will automatically route you to superchargers along the way. The rear touchscreen allows passengers to control their own climate zone, heated seats, and entertainment, including the audio playing throughout the cabin. Like first row climate, 
rear airflow is positioned from the screen. Passengers can even watch videos and movies or play games while you're driving. Phone Key wirelessly communicates with your car over Bluetooth, so even when you're without cellular connectivity, your phone will function as the key. Open the Tesla app to manually manage locks and to control your trunks and charge port over Bluetooth. This is in addition to the span of other app controls that use the internet connections of your phone and your car. When using Phone Key, you should always keep one of the backup key cards with you, wherever you keep your driver's license. This way, you have another option in case your phone dies or you choose to hand your Tesla to a valet. To unlock your Tesla using the key card, press it against the driver's side door pillar below the camera. Do the same to lock the car. To power on your Tesla so you can drive using the backup key card, place it on one of your wireless phone chargers and press the brake. These icons flash and your drive mode appears on your instrument cluster, indicating that your Tesla is ready to drive. If you like, you can pair key fobs to use as alternatives to phone key. As with phone key, when a key fob is on you, your car will automatically unlock as you approach it, power on for driving when you press the brake pedal, and lock as you walk away. If you choose to use a fob, you'll just keep it in your purse or pocket most of the time. We've also hidden some buttons inside the fob. Double press on the rear to open or close your lift gate. Press here once to stop your lift gate while it's moving. You can also press and hold here to open or unlatch your charge port. Double press on the windshield area to pop open your front trunk. The hood is made of aluminum, so it's much lighter than those of traditional cars. To close it, set it down gently and then lean into it with your palms on each side of the latch. The locks button is on the roof of the key. A single press locks your Tesla and a double press unlocks it. To pair a key fob for use with your car, tap controls, locks, and then here to add a new key. Follow the prompts on the screen. You'll need one of your backup key cards to complete the process. You can manage any of your phone keys, key fobs, or backup key cards from this menu. The Tesla wall connector and the Tesla mobile connector are the most common home charging solutions. The mobile connector allows you to charge your car anywhere there's a power outlet. It's great to bring with you on overnight trips. A standard household outlet charges your giant battery relatively slowly, so we recommend using the mobile connector with a more powerful outlet for daily charging. Attach the adapter for the outlet you'd like to use. Plug into the outlet and then into your Tesla. A Tesla wall connector is the best home charging option. It looks great, has built-in cable storage, and is hardwired to your home for maximum charging speed and reliability. If you can, just top off every night where you park. It takes two seconds to plug in and your car likes to charge. It's best to maintain a medium to high charge level, so be sure to plug in whenever it's convenient. To plug in, point the connector at your car and press here to open the charge port. You can also open it from the touchscreen, phone key, by pressing and holding a FOB's trunk button, or by pressing on the charge port door. The Tesla T illuminates in white, indicating that your car is ready to charge. Firmly plug the connector into the charge port, and the T will first turn blue to show that the car is preparing or waiting to charge, and then to a green pulse to indicate that it's charging. The green light pulses slower as charging approaches completion and turns to a solid green when charging is done. When you press and hold the connector button to unplug, the T will turn blue and then white. Once it's white, simply remove the connector and then release the button. An amber T means that the connector isn't latched and likely isn't plugged in all the way. Try unplugging and plugging back in more firmly. Red indicates that there's a fault. Check your displays for a fault message. 
Our incredibly fast supercharger stations have their own connectors that operate the same way. It's best to route to superchargers from your car's navigation. This preconditions your battery so it can charge as quickly as possible. Supercharging is fastest shortly after plugging in and slows as your battery fills up. Because of this, arriving with a lower state of charge will result in faster charging. Supercharging costs more than local home charging, but always far less than gas. Sessions automatically bill to the payment method you have on file. Be sure to move your car once supercharging is complete to avoid any idle fees and to ensure there's space for others to charge. Tesla's expansive and rapidly growing international charging networks allow you to travel anywhere you like with ease today. We're happy that EV charging locations from other organizations are also quickly spreading. Your Tesla comes with an adapter that allows you to plug in at many of these locations. First, attach the adapter to the charging station's connector. Then, plug into your Tesla normally. When it's time to unplug, press and hold the button on the station's connector and grip the adapter with your other hand. Once the T turns white, remove the connector and adapter together. Then, be sure to take your adapter with you. Additional charging adapters are available in the Tesla shop. Explore these and other accessories in the app. You can use the charging menu on the touchscreen to schedule charging. This allows you to charge from the lowest cost electricity available and to have your Tesla precondition itself for optimal performance in advance of when you typically leave. You can also set a charge limit. It's best to set the limit within daily for everyday driving. Simply adjust to within trip from your car or your phone the night before taking a road trip. 